Hello world, YouTube family, and thank you for coming to my channel, my YouTube channel that is Deb Chanel 48th World. Okay, let's go again. Let's do that again. Deb Chanel's 48th World. That's my YouTube channel. Let's get in today's or this week's top story. What's trending on social media? TMZ, that's right. TMZ.com brought out the gossip, brought out the trending headline for the week. And it was said that R. Kelly fears for his life in prison. So he is requesting solitary confinement. <laughs> I'm like, when do we, as a human being, as a people, go and petition ourselves to say what and how and when and where we want to serve time, you know, until we're convicted of the said crime? I'm like, R. Kelly and society just really needs to stop. you either going to do a crime and do the time in jail, in prison, however the fine permits. It should not be because you're a celebrity, you're well known around the world, this, that, and that. You still bleed red blood and you still are a human being and your gender is either female or male, point, period, and blank. Where do we get off as human beings with um, education and knowledge to go and make rules and legislations for we the people to vote on? And it still turns out in the favor of a possibly, allegedly, man who's done a crime, okay? Against children, against young adults, however you want to see it, okay? The charges are there. They say, allegedly, or they say in truth that they have proof that he committed all these sexual crimes against young people, all right? Especially uh, female gender. But I'm just appalled at our society and our laws that are out there that seem to protect the victimizers instead of the victims. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Please help me. But before I make more opinions, let's go on and read what TMZ exclusively reported on Mr. Robert Kelly. Okay? They say uh, it's written up as an exclusive R. Kelly fears for his life in prison, so solitary's fine by him. So solitary is fine by him. Okay, it was published July 18th, uh, which was, I think it was, what, Thursday? Okay, at 1.44 Pacific Standard Time. Okay, it says R. Kelly is scared for his life behind bars, fearing retaliation from fellow inmates who knows He's accused of horrid sex crimes involving underage girls. Kelly's attorney, Nicole Blank Becker, tells TMZ during a recent visit with an embattled singer in federal prison, he told her solitary helps because he believes in his life, because he believed his life would be in real danger in general population. Kelly feels way safer by himself. My palm, my sidebar. How are we giving allegedly possibly criminal activities on behalf of a put you know potential criminal saying what he wants what he desires what he feels okay if you did the crime you got to do the time it's either should be um you're in there because you did a horrific crime or you did a white collar crime it doesn't matter you did a crime against society or humanity doesn't matter it's either you're guilty or you're not you're in jail for a reason. You're in prison for a reason, okay? Either jail time for R. Kelly or prison time. Make up your mind. If he's being alleged to be doing these things and he needs to go to prison because that's what a felony deters for him, then forget it. I don't care whether you did crimes against a child, whether you took money, you embezzled money, or whatever. All of these things are horrific. Put his behind in jail. I don't care. If he was a celebrity, first and foremost, he's a human being. He's a man. He's in the same gender and culture as if we say the planet race or human race. Hush, Elijah. Oh, he's whining, y'all. He can on my nerve. But anyway, um, it just really bothers me when we alleged 
that a certain person has committed a crime, whether it's a white collar crime, crime, blue collar crime, or just a felony type crime. However you want to see, all of it is bad in my eyes. Don't matter which one you did, how you did it, when you did it, where you did it. If you were convicted by strong evidence that's undisputable, you should go to jail, jail or prison. Which one? Does it fall in a misdemeanor or does it fall in a felony crime? If it's fall in a felony crime, that's prison time. Go to prison. I don't care what you feel. You didn't care about the people that you inflicting the harm on, did you? Brainwashing them or holding them against their will, however you want to see it. You didn't care about them, all right? So why should we care about you if this is all true? So going back to the article, it says... As we reported, Kelly's behind bars for the foreseeable future because the judge denied bond during Tuesday's hearing. Prosecutors say they have had women, they have their hands on the alleged sex tapes at the center of the probe, which they claim show Kelly having sex with underage girls. Although Kelly thinks he's better off in solitary, his attorney says it creates a problem because he has no one to lean on. He can't read or write, and that makes even the most mundane tasks super difficult, such as figuring out what's on the commissionary's list. My thing is, if he can't read, he can't write, uh, how did he make all these hits, okay? He has some form of intelligence, all right? Some form that can get him, he has gotten this far in life with little skills of reading and writing. Don't give me that crap. Put him out there in general population. Let have however other people get done in prison or whatever or, or, or um, jail. Then so be it, you know, because we ought to have strict reg uh, regulations there, too. You know, we don't want people getting raped by other men in jail by men. We don't want it to be happening with women prisons and they getting done the same way by their same sex. We should be more humanized than letting crimes go on like that in jail. You know what I'm saying? They all in a cell with certain dimensions of that cell. They everything's being recorded or should be recorded. I mean it's just like when you go to school, you have to eat at a certain time, you got to study at a certain time. And you know it just is what it is. You have rules and regulations. We need to follow them. And, of course, if they haven't, like, they can't control their sexual urges, then get them medication. Okay? Give them medication that makes their sex drive go from 1,000 to zero. Okay? Even if they have to be up there like zombies. Okay? At least they won't be harming themselves and they won't be harming other people. But, no, you go commit a crime, whether it's a, 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 a misdemeanor crime with little or no jail time, or it's a felony crime, you got to do the time, and you should not be up there behaving like uh, animals, but no, to the fact, they are getting, you know, they getting paid for services that they're performing in j jail, like maybe they've done good, or uh, be they've been on good behavior, so they let them, you know, go work in the food department or they go in and doing um odd jobs in the cleaning department or laundry so they get extra money put on their books no they're not there to go learn and fold clothes and this that and the third no that's why we have outside people working for the prison system to make sure they have somewhere to lay their head eat their medical needs or uh, uh, taken care of if they had a medical issue prior to going to jail you know some things of that nature we should they should be re that anything get them a bible get them religious stuff to, to read don't get them stuff where they can uh like enjoy exercising no you just need to be up there and, and, and serve your time because we, we don't know you might be enough till you die so you ain't got no reason or cause to want to exercise no just, we're gonna get you out we're gonna let you walk around exercise your muscles with walking around but we're not gonna put iron in there for you to build up so you can you know, uh, beat up the the people that's there to protect you. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to have TV because you don't need to know what's going on outside anyway. Anything, you need to be sitting there thinking about what you did to get you in there. If you took a life, then you need to be sitting thinking about that life you took, okay? There should be nothing but nutrition. And I tell you, two hours should be vegetarian up in there. Ain't no meat. Ain't no killing going on. Because half of them up there for killing somebody. So they should not have no... If you need protein, we know how to get that protein based in nuts and, 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 and other uh, forms of 
protein we can give you. You ain't getting on me. Uh-uh. You finna be a vegetarian. Everything gonna be cool and kosher up in there. All right. You're gonna sit there. You're gonna look at film strips. They have just nothing but nature. Nature. Flowers, trees, mountains, all that kind of serene stuff. You ain't finna do nothing up in there that's gonna make you But You ain't even going to college to get a degree. We're gonna take all that from you. Okay? We just want you to be up there. Have some spiritualness about yourself. And give you some scenery to look at through visuals of, uh, what do you call it? Then you be outside and you see him, whatever you can see through that little area that we got you housed in. Or we're going to give you video strips to look at nothing but nature uh, and, and mountains and stuff of that nature. You ain't finna do nothing where you finna educate yourself to be, you know, get your high school diploma. Especially if you're on death row. Especially, if, you know, you ain't, it ain't no way you getting out of jail, period. Okay? No, you ain't gonna have a cell phone. We're gonna cut we pretty much we're gonna cut you off. You know, you don't need to see your family no. Not really, because you ain't gonna see him. You you on death row. You need to just be thinking about the crime, the time, and where you're gonna go in your afterlife. That's just how I feel about the situation. Okay, but let's move back to this article. It goes on to say Kelly has access to a phone for a total of 15 minutes a month to speak with family and friends. Prisoners in general population have access to the phones, to the phone all the time. There's also no access to TV or the Internet. As for supporters inside the prison, we're told zilch. So, see, they say they don't have, they, like I said, they ain't need no TV anyway. They don't need no Internet. What are they doing? They need to be there to understand why they're there. And if they did a horrific crime, they need to be thinking about that person from day in to day out. Okay? From day in to day out, every millisecond of a minute, they need to be thinking why they're there, who they hurt. And like I said, it fits perfectly if they did the crime. If you got somebody in there that didn't do it and all this evidence is stacked up against them and padded and all that, that's a whole other different story. I'm not talking about those uh, people, but I'm talking about the ones who have admitted they have previous crimes that they have done since uh, early childhood or their formative years, like when they hit puberty, 12 and on up. All of that, you know what I'm saying? No, we, we just need them to sit, ponder, and let them really get in the mode of being inside. Yeah, all of them need to have solitary. They don't need to be they don't need to be conversing with nobody. They don't need to be conversing with no they need to be sitting in their cell. We're gonna let you get out, get some air. Other than that, you going back in there. You ain't finna be uh raping nobody up in here on the same sex thing or we ain't bringing nobody in for you to have what you call it uh convalesc not ain't convalescence. God I can't think of it when you uh you're married and um, you have people come in, your spouse or whatnot, and have relations. They used to have that. They don't need to have that no more. They don't need to have none of that. Because that's why people commit crimes over and over again. Because they know they're going to have food, shelter, and clothing. You know what I'm saying? Food, shelter, and clothing. Why not commit the crime? Especially if you ain't got nobody out here in uh, society that you care to see anymore. If you are adapted to that criminal minds type behavior, you're going to always want to go back because you know you already got food, shelter, and clothing. They got to take care of you for your medical concerns, especially if you have a medical history like high blood pressure, diabetes, something to that effect. They're going to have to treat you, okay? So I'm like, uh-uh, no. All the things that I see and hear prisoners have access to, they shouldn't because they ain't going to never learn that. They ain't going to learn why they were there for the first part because they know if I do my time I'm getting out and nine times ten I'm going to create that same uh, bad behavior train of thought. I'm going to be back in here so it don't make a difference. It's a revolving door. If we get a little bit more harsh, a little bit more stricter and no nonsense type of uh, sentencing and going through that ain't no, ain't no good time sir. Go ahead, what you gonna do anyway? If you in now, you can't help but be good if you have a a, a a thought of ever getting out seeing your family, seeing the population society. Yeah, of course you're gonna act uh good. So you know, trying to go to jail, you get 20 years and they say, okay, well you don't did seven of those years. We're gonna discount the other one that you out for good behavior. No, you you want bad behavior when you got there. You're gonna be on bad behavior until you serve every last sentence. That the judge say you're supposed to do. Good behavior or not. Okay? Good behavior or not. Everybody's trying to become a model citizen when they're trying to get out or something. Yeah. But when they put back out in the general population in our society, not in prison, 
But in real, in the real world, who's to say they're not going to go back and commit the same crime if they're not given other avenues, if they're not given the tools prior to getting back out, how to resist being a criminal. You see what I'm saying? So no, if R. Kelly, he got to go just like Bill Cosby. See, like Bill Cosby, he in one of them plush type of uh, facilities where he's not even out there with the general population. We need to be stopped being scared as a society to put these jokers in jail, in general population, with the rapists, with the murderers, with the people that really done some horrific things so people will not be, um, what do you call it, picked out to say, okay, but since you're a celebrity, we're not going to treat you this way, but yet you still did something that a regular or the ordinary walk of the mill Jack or Jill did, okay? But they didn't have no celebrity status, so that's the only thing that's going to get you over here to point B. We're going to put you a point A because these are the ones that is normal, everyday people. And since you have a little status about yourself, we're going to put you in point. Now, see, that's, that, they shouldn't even have that option. You did a crime. You're a human being. You know, you bleed red blood. You finna suffer. You finna be alone. If, if the crime was, as you was a celebrity, you killed somebody, you murdered somebody, guess what? You're going into the population. Guess what? You a celebrity, but you raped somebody, you tortured them, you know, you had your way with them, but we got other people that did the same thing, but they're not celebrities. Guess what? You're going into the population. Same crime. It should be a point whether you made it. Uh, a point to be a celebrity out him that you felt like you want to do an everyday crime. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. That's not how it would work in my world and my sentencing or trying to run a, a, a astute type of civilization out there. No, no, no. And I'm pretty much, however you did it to that person, you're going to get right back done to you. All right. You choke somebody out. You choke them to death. Guess what? That's your sentence. We done proved it. DNA done proved it. Everything points to you did it. Guess what? You choke that person to death. Here we go. Somebody gonna choke you to death. You stab somebody to death. Here you go. We're gonna stab you to death. That's just how I feel about certain things, you know, and certain issues. There should be not no pity, no mercy, unless you're gonna show everybody. Even you know, you showing pity and mercy to these celebrities, you need to show pity and mercy to just everyday walks of life of people. We're still the same race, we're still the same. Uh, animalistic type of human being that bleeds red blood. We're still the same. Biologically, our makeup as a female or male, we're still the same. It's no difference whether you're a celebrity or you're a regular everyday person. No. Did a crime, got to do the time. Bill Cosby should be in general population on whatever federal prison is close to his state if he don't have one in his state, if he did that crime. He should be in no little special lockup cell where, oh, he's... um pretty much separated from the general population of, of real killers, real drug dealers, real this, that, and the third. Uh-uh. He did it. If he did it, you got to go out there with them too. All right? I don't think it is, is a misdemeanor type jail or felony type jail. That's the only thing we're looking at in my eyes, and that's where it should be. That's my opinion. But y'all, that's all I had on the story of R. Kelly. He just seemed to not want to go away. They taking their time on trying to process him for all these horrific crimes they said he committed against these women. Because if you give people X amount of time, like five or ten years, there's gonna be some more women that are grown and of age to say, "Well, he did that to me." You keep, you know, letting the window opportunity stay open. You just throw away the key. Just throw away the key, okay? Because he ain't going nowhere. All right? If he did it to one, he probably did it to several. It only takes one person for him to have, have a, 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 what do you call it, afflicted or harmed in any way to get the harshest sentence that's possible. But be fair. You know, it's happening because he's a man, he's a gender, and this is what how we're going to treat men. If it's a woman... You know, it's the same gender. That's how we're going to treat her. You know, I don't know if it should be because to me, if you're a male or female, if you did the crime, you do the time. It's just, you know, years, sir, same thing. It shouldn't have a difference between if you're going to do a, a crazy crime when you're about 14, 15, 16 years old. Guess what? You can serve some time. Whatever we said, 20 years, 40 years life. That's what it's going to be. And that'll stop a lot of people from committing crimes whether it's uh, misdemeanors or whether they're felony crimes, okay? 
But like I said, that's my opinion. That's my observation. My um, synopsis is what I felt about R. Kelly fears for his life in prison. Well, then stop doing crime, son. Stop doing crime. You ain't in fear of doing crime against another human being, be it a male or a female. So why should we feel sorry for you that you could possibly get hurt up there in prison in general population? You do it the same crime that they did. It's just you're a celebrity and they're not. Man, our society is kind of messed up. The ones that make these laws and push these laws into uh, becoming a bill and, and then to, to it going through the proper channels and it becomes state law. <sighs> it's just messed up. But that's all I got, y'all. See y'all for the next video. Bye.